This is hip hinging. So we have to learn to move from our hips primarily, not our low back. Uh, this is because of that first joint rule. The joint we move first is going to take the bulk of the load. And it's where all the strength is going to be kind of derived from. And so if we bend from our low back, we put all that force in our back. Our hips are our strongest joints in the body. So we want to learn to load those well. And how we do that is just by hip hinging. So nice, strong legs, nice and tall. Uh, ground the feet, really active. And then just learn to hitch, hinge from that hip, okay? And so I just want you getting used to this movement. And because you can even progress this. I just gotta keep that back flat all the way down. And then I'm starting to bend my knees as I go just to give my hamstrings a little room. But a, learn, a way to learn to do this well is actually just to put your fist on, onto the back of your tailbone and then back up to a wall. Good. And then just Learn to shoot that tailbone back. Before you bend your knees, before you bend your back, start to just learn to shoot that tailbone back. And then you can get a little further away from the wall. And then this is gonna to start to work on your flexibility in your hip. And then as you get further away, then the second joint you're gonna move is gonna be your knees. So now I'm starting to bend my knees as well. So shoot that hip back and then hit the knees. And then so this is gonna start all your movements. Everything from going down to tie your shoe, hip hinge at the hip, and then come down, tie your shoe, back up. All these things. We wanna move from our hips first, and so we have to learn to shift our weight into our hip just by that simple motion.